can take this meditation as a a form of uh, visualization it is, it is just an attempt uh, i just want to try this uh, like uh, there is a concept of uh, virata purusha or uh, the cosmic person <coughs> the cosmic person is the either call it as inner self of all the being or the maheshwara when uh, the pure consciousness that is brahman manifest itself with the bonds of time space and causation then it can be called as virata purusha you can just uh, take it as the seed of uh, elemental existence or the universal mind which we will get connected from the depths of our subconscious mind and beyond it is just an attempt it is a concept of uh, golden womb or hiranya garbha which is a saguna brahman or uh, the brahman with attributes visible form like a sun so just to comprehend and understand the higher forms of existence or the creation it's an attempt to go within ourselves so let's see how it goes get ready adapt yourself a comfortable seated position spine straight eyes softly closed inhale and exhale gently breathe in and breathe out breathing in and breathing out external sounds are not any hindrance for you because you are aware of your breathing and focused on your breathing gentle breathing in relax to breathe out gentle breathing in relaxed breathe out each time you breathe in and breathe out your body is either getting heavier or heavier or the muscles are feeling lighter and relaxed each time you breathe in and breathe out your body is getting deeply relaxed feel the contact area of your body onto the surface of the mat or the chair the relaxation is setting in all the skeletal muscles are getting relaxed one by one 
as you breathe in and breathe out. Gentle breathing in, relaxed, breathe out. And slowly and gently, we embark the journey into the depth of our hearts and being. You are able to feel and appreciate the gentle rhythm of breathing which is involuntarily regulating your body. You'll appreciate tremendous work of the body Activities which are so subtle, automatic, ongoing till our last breath. The heart is beating, the respiration, the blood circulation, the metabolic activities. Digestion, filtration, all the activities, all the internal organs. Have you noticed all these internal organs are functioning in tune with the inner intelligence? For our logical mind, you can call it as an autonomic nervous system, which is again in line with a higher order of the body's intelligence, which is beyond our logical mind. While you being into the process of Shravana, Manana, Nididhyasana. You are contemplating on your autonomic nervous system. Your conscious mind, deep down into the conscious mind, your subconscious mind, where all the emotions, habits, Autonomic functions are hidden and deeper down into the subconscious mind. There is a cosmic unconscious. Or you connect to the line with universal intelligence. If you're able to appreciate the body bodies functioning in the form of breathing and heartbeat right now and then connect to the conscious mind going to going deep into the subconscious mind and cosmic unconscious beyond this point of cosmic unconscious where it is believed that all the knowledge of the universe exists in this cosmos. You agree with me that 
beyond our existence beyond the existence of this earth beyond the existence of this universe there is a some source of energy which is binding and holding on to all of this this energy which is binding and holding on to all the interconnected processes you can call it as an universal mind and this universal mind has innumerable universes within now scriptures it is called as virat purusha the pure consciousness it is believed to be a personality or the persona which is dissolved into the universe she is responsible for the creation preservation and the dissolution of the universe this virata purusha is a seed of elemental existence the big bang and beyond this virata purusha the feeling and visualizing beyond consists of the mind whose body is subtle whose form is the light whose thoughts are true whose nature is like the space or akasha whose creation is this universe who cherishes all the righteous desires who contains all the pleasant order orders of the universe it's a beautiful descri- description who is endowed with all the tastes who embraces all of this who never speaks who is without longingness it's a description of the universal mind the form of cosmic person when you breathe in and breathe out you are perceiving that universal form of existence the process of creation is in his out breathing and in breathing in the body of the cosmic person countless universes are interwoven in him everything disappears like the bubble in the ocean and again from out of him everything comes to manifestation 
like bubbles rising to the surface. One of the Rig Veda description says that Virata Purusha has a thousand head, thousand eyes, thousand feet. He covers the entire universe, all the sides, and transcend it by ten finger breadth of his. And he is alone the lord of all mortal and immortal being beautiful description to acknowledge the higher source of energy the universal mind or consciousness the virata purusha with this awareness of virata purusha from the depth of your being who encompasses all the seven lokas above and seven lokas below. With this awareness of the Virata Purusha, or the cosmic persona, or the universal form or the mind. Feel that being aware of this itself is cleansing feeling from within. And the awareness of a source within which is connected and we feel that we feel the same source from within of our mortal beings. It is there as a Amruta Dhara. What you feel the connect from within in the depths of your being, which is interlinked between all the human beings, all the nature, all the existence, to feel something from within. That something is one source, one point of connect, one point of energy, or one point of manifestation of the attributes of the Brahman. With this common interconnected visible Saguna Brahman awareness of Hiranya Garbha the tale of cosmic egg encompassing all the universe within the universe slowly coming back to body awareness a simple visualization of Virata Purusha I feel my body, mind, spirit are cleansed and connected. Slowly and gently coming back to your body consciousness, body awareness. You feel so comfortably sitting in this position for so long. You feel like a journey from the depths of the mind to acknowledge and appreciate the universal form or being. And you felt the connected universal form which is existing amongst all of us as one individual Atman or the source. We're all connected. With this connectedness, with this deep, relaxed Outlook. Let your day be fruitful, successful. Let the day create 
preserves manifest the intent of your work in this organization or your life and the dissolution can happen on a minor scale larger scale on a mortal and immortal being we accept all the three process and let us contribute our best where we feel our consciousness is expanded and we learn and we contribute for the better outcome for your life journey and for the institution you are working for you notice your breathing is so deep and comfortable that your body feels so light the relaxation response has set in so deep that you feel fresh refreshed rejuvenated relaxed slowly and gently moving your fingertips moving your toes a bit you getting alert and awake completely take one deep breath in and breathe out to be aware that you're alert and awake in the back of your closed eyes and ready to open your eyes to the new world of awareness of yourself and the being around the source of connect very slowly with few blinks open your eyes to the new world of relaxed awareness have a good day to all of you thank, thank you sir have a good day sir very nice uh, shishikant ji just uh, with uh, permission i would like to add something is it okay ha ah, yes sir yes sir you you must add sir because it is uh, uh, scripture Wonderful. yeah 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 you quoted some of the scriptures rigveda so what is there in rigveda that i would like to just say sahasra shirsha purusha sahasra aksha sahasra pat sabhumim vishvato vrutva atyatishta dashangula this is how and he has the eyes vishvatas chakshuruta vishvato mukho vishvato bahuruta vishvatas pat this is the universal form of god sambahu byam namati sampatatre dyava prithivi janayan deva eka god is only one universal form this is a virat roop of the lord which is explained in rigveda and in shvetashvatar upanishad also there is a wonderful quotation of what is yoga what are the features of a real yogi so which says in shvetashvatar upanishad laghutvam aarogyam alolupatvam varana prasadam swara saushthavancha shubhram gandham mootra purisham alpam yoga pravrittim prathamam vadanti these are the beautiful lakshanas of a real yogi laghutvam he feels the body light aarogyam no disease disease free state alolupatva no greed for anything in this world varana prasadam he will be effulgent with his skin everything swara saushthavancha he is going to his voice is going to attract everyone when he says my dear brothers and sisters of america how it attracted swami vivekananda's voice that is what is swara saushthavancha varana prasadam swara saushthavancha shubram gandham he is going to fragrant from his body there will be no stinkingness he is going to be very fragrant shubram gandham mootra purisham alpam his excreta and urine will be output will be very less so shubram gandham mootra purisham alpam yoga pravrittim one who is on the path of yoga one who is on the path of yoga these are the lakshanas so beautiful it reminded me everything when you were explaining thank you very much this is the most beautiful scriptural meditation hiranyagarbha